Even you can tell, like, that it's going to be fun. It's like the story of the show. But how do you think it's fun? How about more interesting than the show? It's worth a thousand dollars. So we can subliminally educate it. We can invest it as a one-way ticket to the world. Well, despite what our parents continue to do, our patients are the best. Even scientists who want to be the are no longer to be the most privileged to the world. There are no intelligent agendas, and this is a really clear message to make sure that we can get to More than half of the creatures, We work really hard. We get the arms pointing at you to get a job. It's not a very difficult thing. But I'm here to offer you a I believe that by getting online, you can effectively showcase your skills to potential employers and demonstrate your hard work, digital know how, expertise, and potential. I'd like to explain a little bit about what I'm getting at by talking about my creative journey over the past three years at university. While studying at Durham, I felt unsafe creativity. So I talked to the very best thing at many times. Not being willing to give up, I set up a blog. I used this website as my own little corner of the internet, where I could experiment with my writing and my photography and my design. I cannot tell you how special that has been for me the past few years. Since founding my blog, I've amassed a loyal following online. And I've made a possible business out of my passion for digital content. I've had some amazing opportunities. I've been able to open up with customers, collaborate with my favorite fashion brands, and I've traveled to exotic destinations to do a few When I applied to jobs, I received a link to my blog, not really thinking much of it at the time. But what happened was a real surprise to me. Employers engaged my content, they commented on my collaboration, and they told me that they were impressed with my creative skills. I honestly didn't realize that at the time that my blog was a hit with the creative blog. When I graduated, I was joining one of the world's leading organizations in marketing, and I honestly don't think that I could have done that without it. I know some of you may be switching off already and thinking this is a thought I'm creating, but I really do think that blogging can be a key. If you're a historian, a lawyer, or an anthropologist, why not share your essays on that? Or share insights into the field that you want to specialize in? Like a writer, a designer, or an engineer, then you can use your blog's online portfolio to share your design and your work. So, how exactly does the blog help you get a job? Firstly, it gives you a positive negative button. When you give in a job application, one of the first things that your employer will do is investigate you online. And I can really do this. I did this for the first day. People do a quick Google search at Facebook for this, and it's where you get to be so do you know what comes out when someone Googles your name? If you don't, it's really silly because you're just a quick set of questions. In an interview, a recruiter is just a piece of self to see the person. But on your blog, you can see what you can So you're in charge of that script of things. This enables you to project yourself in a positive light. You can show a part of the best possible image of you, both professionally and personally. It also makes you stand out. So that you start to learn how to answer for every single graduate job, the location of the recruitment process can be really hard to learn as well. For instance, the university is getting good grades in the active member of the community as well as the blog you are sitting in. I will send this to get you through the point of this. This blog will really make you shine. And employers will engage you with this. When you go through CV, after CV, after CV, you will still see your name for recruitment. Imagine what it's like to have 50 all of those, and then suddenly one appears with a link to your blog. You see, they look at it. Suddenly, you're a person. You're no longer restricted to a destination. Who is all of this to take? You can 
say your personality is the truth of God. So I want to come to the stage and try to explain it. Once you say you're ready to be the other side, it's so much easier to open your mouth and stop the conversation. And I will open the question to see if you can tell me. So if you're going to stop it, but if you swear to the lips to a blog and to the beach, I'd like to look at you. Well, then, you can take this down to the front by about 15 to 17 minutes. If you have a lot of things to do, you can tell me. Um, I have so much more to say. I just don't have my time. And I'm going to be able to do it. So that you're able to swear to learn more about you as to what you are to do. Now, these are all things in the blog stage about you. But what I've done is a different thing. It's what the blog is most likely to do. Me some really great things to discuss. The UK is really the largest internet education system in the world, so it's quite a risk to create a team. Having my blog has enabled me to edit, website design, content writing, social media strategy, and Facebook trading. I'm learning the basic of it, the very basic, but it's all about having a go. These kinds of skills are used to be an art for the organizations, but now they're much harder to upload a blog site. Always advocating for this kind of thing. Just tell us a story. I'm a big fan of all the other things that you do. So I'm not going to keep going. Paul Robbins has said, if you're ready to choose to go, you can just do that and just go for it. You will be really surprised what you discover about yourself when you start that journey. And finally, blogging was more for me than the words that I could have done. With 91 to 70 members of that blog, I need to get a job for the rest of my career. We are likely to have around 50 to 90 days now working there. This job has a mentality to find new technology to practice and develop me. It means that you will have to pay out and do that in how to do our job most of the time for our offices. When I use our online pay to my website, I get it back over the whole time I'm busy with the job. Working with technology in my business keeps me fairly calm, and it's something we're not really used to. Apple don't we play, we create the excitement. But as we go into the school system, we're reminded of where things are. And favor is right is wrong, I think it's true. So I urge you to keep up your laptop, do your job with coffee, and remember where you got your job. Tim Bernard did say that being connected is often very hard, and I'm so grateful for that gift. I feel blessed to be part of a generation of digital natives. People that have grown up with technology. Every single one of us has the ability to set up a business, share our passions with the world, or start a social movement online. These things change the world, all from the depths of our student foundation. But how many of us do, and how many of us take internet and take it back for granted? So I'm hoping at this point you're all ready to go and ready to set up a blog. So I'll help you get started. Here are the five simple tips of when you're ready to get into your first blog post. Firstly, choose a platform. Setting up a blog today couldn't be easier. With so many posts out there, um, the most popular are WordPress, Blogger, and Squarespace. So Google is one. Play with the keyword and see which one you prefer. Size and capacity. Your blog should focus on one niche market. So if you want to take a really good portfolio, you keep it pretty big. If you want to share your essays, keep it pretty big. Trust your listen to anyone, but whatever you do, keep it fair, keep it consistent. Your blog is one of the places where you can show off. In fact, I'd actually encourage it. So whatever you're good at, put it out there on the internet. If you want to be a fitness trainer, why not share your workouts or post some videos and help you find it? Your brand will be in a template that will be a great place to highlight your um, work experience and help your business and brand and things that you can offer. And start conversations. Blogging is all about connecting. So when you write an article, say what you like it, pose the question, and it's going to be really good to read. When you have favorite things about my blog, you can send it to the company. So embrace this role as a facilitator of this important session. And you may be proud that you've chosen my role to write my weekly blog. And finally, time to reflect. We 